Hi everybody, Aww. Christina Stewart here with Christina Stewart Photography and welcome to another edition of Photo Tips Tuesday. I'm here with Joyce Jimenez who is the inventor, what do you describe yourself as? The creator and visionary of Detox Energy Green. Awesome, creator and, and visionary, I love it. Yeah. Love it, love it. So Detox Energy Greens is a product and so we're gonna talk a little bit about product photography and the importance of getting pictures, professional pictures of your products and not just even professional, but getting a constant flow of product images for your clients, for your business. And Absolutely. so what's the importance of, how do you use photos for your product and kind of give me a little bit of a, how photos work for you. Well, we are huge on marketing, um, and so providing content and pictures really gives people a visual. Sometimes you can describe something as being amazing, but if you don't give a visual to what it looks like, how can they know anything about it, you know? And so I think having an image as to, oh, this is what it looks like, it's kind of like a preview before you have it into your hands, you know? So here's the jar, and- um, I was just gonna say, because it's yeah, super cute, yeah, and it so needs pictures. <laughs> I love it. So it's a little jar and it has a little spoon that comes with it. So a lot of the times when people see the jar, sometimes they want to get it just because of the presentation. Mm -hmm. But if they don't see it ahead of time, you know, it, it, it's a little different. They could just envision a bunch of ground up greens in a bag. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Which is your refill, but it's still the refill yes. bag is still pretty. Yes, absolutely. So you yeah. want to show, so tell me a little bit how about how this jar, I remember you telling me the story about yeah. how the jar idea came about. So tell us like how you came up with this, what's your process, and why is the presentation so important for your product? Yes, that's a great question, and it's part of my story. Um, you know, for many years I worked at a health food store and um, sold a bunch of other people's products for a long time. And you know, we were trying to get away from plastic and you know different things. There was a, a big movement that was starting, and um, I really just wanted to go out on my own. Uh, but I didn't know how to do that. So one day I was just praying and in meditation I had the uh, basic vision of a glass jar, a wooden spoon, you know, and all of the ingredients that came with it. And so it's kind of how Detox Energy Greens came into play and then just executed, found the perfect jar, the perfect presentation. Mm -hmm. And I think that has a lot to do with everything because it says something about you. It's the time that you take into things. So if you see something on the shelf that doesn't, you know, it doesn't appeal to the eye, you kind of walk right past it yeah. but when you see something that's cute and you know it goes with your values of okay it's not in plastic it's you know right. sustainable then maybe this is something that's of quality mm -hmm. and that's why i think the pictures are super important too because that's your marketing that's what you're putting out there that's your quality right. you know and so it's showing that and representing that and all yeah so if you you know as a somebody who puts in, putting together a product, if you do put this much energy into the presentation of your actual product and then just have cell phone pictures or, you know, have cluttered backgrounds mm -hmm. or just really obviously unprofessional images yeah. in your marketing, what, what that would not help at all. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh -uh. And it really can, can do the opposite of helping is really be detrimental to, Absolutely your success of your business. I and agree. I follow Joyce and Detox Greens mm -hmm. on Instagram and I'm always like, all right, these, you know, they're doing pretty good with their images. They have really nice layouts and they're using, you know, vegetables and herbs and props that yes. maybe ingredients that are probably Absolutely, in it, right? Yeah. So they're really putting together a plan yes. in how they are presenting their yes. product and are very you're very conscious of what how you're putting it out there. Absolutely. So what what can help you? What is the social media, you know, on social media is, is where you're seeing the pictures, right? So having a constant flow of good images of your product, how many different, you only have what, three different products? Yeah, three blends. Yeah, so yeah. three blends that you've got to work to find creative ways yes. of showing that, don't Absolutely. you? So what are some of the ways that you've discovered work for you? What are some of the engagements that you're getting on those, your social media with some of the images that you're taking? Well, I think a lot of it is showing how you're able to use the product and then also having, um, with marketing, you want to have the images already in place. And so an image inspires a thought. 
So if I have an image, I look at it and I'm like, oh, there's certain ingredients that are for inflammation in this image. Let me use this specific image for a post about inflammation, about informing people what is good for their inflammation, which then could lead to a potential person that needs this type of help. We all have inflammation, you know, and mm -hmm. people need to reduce it in their bodies. So sometimes just having a picture inspires me completely to what the post is going to be about or what our content creator post is she's going to write about you know and that's I think awesome. that's huge yeah. so sometimes just having a picture does all of the work yeah it's inspiration it for is inspiration the, the for guidance, the words for the, yeah absolutely that's awesome very yeah. good point thanks Thank good you. job <laughs> <laughs> and that's real. That really is true. You yeah. know, the the whole cliche of a picture is worth a thousand words. Absolutely. It really they can be very complementary to each other, though. It really is important. And with photojournalism as my background, I know the importance of pairing up the images with the words. Yes. So that's really great that you're very conscious of that. Absolutely. That's perfect. Yeah. I think that product photography can be fun. I, you guys know me by now, I'm a people person, so <laughs> product photography isn't my most fun thing. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not true. I've actually lit uh, strawberries on fire, which is pretty cool. Very interesting. Yeah, so the, I'll give you a little tip that I learned okay. way back in college and that could be kind of fun. I don't know, you would just play around Light with it. Light the greens on fire? Yeah, for well, real. Some people really do them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's a different kind of green, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, rubber cement. If you paint rubber cement, which is, I don't even know, you probably get it at school supply, art supply stores, maybe. Okay. Um, I haven't done this in years, but if you paint rubber cement on any surface and light it on fire, the alcohol that's in the rubber cement burns up, and once that's gone, the surface of whatever you've put it on is fine. And so you kind of just glue it off like those tacky um, things that they put on the backs of some labels onto windows or something that it's a kind of gummy consistency is what it ends up being. Very so yeah, it's real. I we had a strawberry festival here in Florida, and I just put some strawberries. I got this really cool vase. I'll have to go back and find the pictures and maybe post them because they're really pretty fun. And just painted the rubber cement on it and lit it on fire and shot a bunch of pictures. I actually set off the smoke alarm in the studio at the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask the uh, editors ahead of time if I could do that. So I was really like, you know, blowing the smoke alarm, <laughs> smoke away from the smoke alarm. Rather ask for forgiveness and for Absolutely. Permission. Absolutely. Yes. You got it. <laughs> Very cool. So we're all going to be lighting stuff on fire. I know, right. Yeah, yeah. If you're under 18, use it with the supervision of an yeah. adult. <laughs> Please don't come. Like, Christina told me to do it. Just <laughs> light them on fire. But it can be really cool uh, yeah. for pictures. So that might be fun. Who knows what you could use that. Just be creative with it. So having some fun with your product pictures is really, really important. I agree. Yeah, because it's gonna it's gonna make or break the images and yes. make or break the if she's only got three products right now because I, I don't know what's in your brain you might be coming up with you some know. more <laughs> <laughs> that you've got to really be creative and find some fun ways and she's used ingredients and we talked a little bit earlier I recommended maybe doing like not necessarily how to but kind of behind the scenes like what are the things that she's doing um, using the ingredients and showing just doing some like face like this, like IGTV mm -hmm. or Facebook lives or just some to kind of time lapse videos. Yeah, yeah. Time lapse of what it takes from ingredient to bottle. Absolutely. The process of it, mm -hmm. the behind the scenes. So yeah. yeah, so many people love that stuff. They really, really do yeah. love that behind the scenes. I stuff. love it too. Yeah. See? Yeah. All right. So. so to check out her out on Instagram, what's your Instagram handle? The Instagram is Detox Energy Greens, and so is the Facebook. So you can find them both at Detox Energy Greens, and the website is DetoxEnergyGreens.com. Awesome. Yeah. I love them. They're super good, and <laughs> she's fabulous. So I actually met her at Joyce from doing, I was photographing her doing goat yoga, yes. which I didn't realize was a real thing, and I was so excited <laughs> that I was photographing it. It was so fun. <laughs> They were really cute, and yeah. I, I had a, I was not very fond of goats before that. So we have one coming up. Do you? Where? Thirty-six goats, and they're all baby dwarf oh my gosh. goats. 
You oh. have to come. Yeah. Where are we going to be at, at the uh, yoga garden? No, we have a, a new lady that has a farm. It's called uh, Hidden Palms Acres. So, awesome. Yeah. We're awesome. super excited about that. <laughs> Check us out. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right.